Professor, uh, mm -hmm. now that men don't get pregnant, uh, does uh, a UTI affect uh, sexual you know, performance? Sexual performance in many ways, yes. When you get in a tract infections, uh, one, there will be an anatomical problem that like we said, and this anatomical problem could affect uh, that. And, but sexual performance in many ways, there are people who get very painful ejaculation from when you get the infection going to the prostate in prostatitis so that uh, they may not even want to perform sex and that may lead to psychological erectile dysfunction because of the pain that they get in the pelvis mm. and there are people uh, I get I see 10 to 15 people in my office every day who have severe pelvic pain it, it not only does it affect sexual performance which is bad it can actually perf affect your production entirely so that you're not able to do anything else you have pain and sometimes the infection spreads even to the testes and you get pain for testes mm -hmm. and uh, uh, there are people who will be seeing a, a doctor throughout their life because particularly men, what we call a chronic pelvic pain syndrome, mm -hmm. and they have severe pain in the pelvis that goes away, comes back, goes and comes back, and that affects your everything in in life. So there are serious issues, and it is particularly that group that one has to be very careful in the use of antibiotics because you can't keep pumping people with antibiotics 50 years of their life. You've got right. to look for specifically why this is happening. Issues. Some anatomical problems can be collect, corrected with drugs that we have and by correcting the anatomical problem we would have corrected the, the inner tract infection that, or the recurrence thereof. So the key thing is that you should be able to know what has happened, why do you get the infections and if you get the infections what infection do you get and how sufficient do you treat it. For instance in prostatitis that you may need to take antibiotics for up to a period of 28 days which is unusual with the other treatments. That's quite long. So you may find you have to take antibiotics right. for, for, for 28 days and some of these patients you may have to add other, other drugs like drugs we call alpha blockers that widen the urethra to allow the urine to flow out easily for the infection to go away. So it, the easy over-the-counter treatments doesn't work very well particularly for men and if you have an enlarged prostate, you'll have frequency, you'll have agency, you'll have dysuria. Mm -hmm. Now, you cannot start treating, that's not the proper, the antibiotic will not solve the prostate problem. People who have strictures, the narrowing of the urethra from other reasons, will have present as though they have infection. But it's not just, they may have the infection, yes, but the primary cause of the infection is the obstruction to the urinary.